Okay, so this week we're learning Auld Lang Syne. Uh, it's in 4-4 time. It's in the key of D. D is in dog, but we're in open G tuning. So G, B, D, G, B, D tuning, but it's actually in the key of D. Okay, so here's the first phrase, and it'll cover measures uh, basically one and two of your tab. And it starts right on beat four there, measure one. One, two, three, four. So once again, starting on beat four of measure one. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let me show you what I'm doing there. Got my bar tilted up here for this A note on my third string, uh, second fret there. So that's gonna kick us off. That's our, our pickup note there on beat four. Four, and we go into a D chord. So leave your bar there still tilted up. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit your open fourth string and open first string. And you can either grab it or roll it, however you wanna do. So the timing on this is probably what will be tricky for you. One and two and a three. So you count it. One and two and One and two and a three and four and One and two and a three and four and So once you pick that that chord and then once again that's open fourth string second fret on my third string and open first string make sure you're in tune there then you're going to just kind of arpeggiate it so open fourth string and then second fret on my third string and then you're going to do this hammer on on the end of beat two there and that's an open second string to hammer on on my second fret on my second string to an open first string there. And then you play your open fourth string, so one and two and a three and one and two and a three and. So that's how you count it. One and two and a three and. One and, one and two and a three and. And then you're gonna slide on your first string from fret four to fret two. like that okay now it moves to an A chord and that's pretty simple you just leave your bar straight there on your second fret and then you, once you you're gonna play your sixth string second string and first string on your second fret there over that A chord and then go ahead and arpeggiate that fourth string and then third string and that's the counting's the same those are eighth notes one and two and and then you're going to pull your bar back to get that open first string. So one and two and three and once again the timing on that one and two and three and one and two and three and and then this is the pickup that's beat four of uh, measure three there. And you're just sliding down, bar tilted up, sliding down from fret four to fret two on your first string. So once again, all of measure three over that A chord sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. and then we move to our next phrase, which is over that D chord. So let's try the whole measures one, two, and three. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's quickly check out the right hand for that. Okay, so here's the right hand for measures one, two, and three of your tab. Start off with your index finger. And then the next chord you're actually gonna be playing is that D chord. That's on your fourth, third, and first string. Making sure I'm in tune there.
Okay, so index, and then you're gonna roll that chord, thumb index middle there, on your fourth, third, and first string. Then thumb, index, middle on your second string for that hammer on. And then middle again on your first string. To your thumb, there. So once again, index. And then middle is playing that first string. Okay, that's measure, basically measures one and two. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and a three, and four, and... Okay, and then measure three. Do thumb index middle on your sixth, second, and first string. Then bring that thumb up again to get that fourth string, second fret. See how I do that? Grab that thumb index middle, and bring my thumb up for fourth string, index on my third, thumb, and then just middle on my first string. Okay, so measures one, two, and three with the right hand. One, two, three, four, one. Ready for the next phrase. Let's go ahead and try that. 